was. I'm the founder of Datometry. So let's say you travel outside the US and you need to charge your laptop. Very quickly, you realize that the plug for your laptop charger probably doesn't fit the local power outlet. It's annoying, nothing works, but what's more important, this picture kind of reflects very nicely what your CIO is up against when they're tasked to move the enterprise to the cloud. Data, the very foundation of your business, resides in a cloud database going forward, and that database is just not going to be accessible to your existing applications. You have to re rebuild, rewrite, reconfigure your applications, basically rebuild the entire application stack. The industry is already bracing for that. You're marking billions of dollars, and it's probably going to be the most expensive revolution that IT has ever seen. Now, if you're an avid traveler, you carry one of these here, a universal adapter that you just plop into the socket, plug in your charger, and you're good to go. Now imagine if there were an adapter that did something similar for the enterprise, that would allow your existing applications to magically talk to that new cloud database. The Tometry HyperQ is exactly that. We built a sophisticated piece of enterprise software that sits between the application and the database and now makes all the data that is in your cloud database accessible to your existing applications without rebuilding, without rewriting. And just like our little friend here, this thing supports a number of systems on either side of the device. Building HyperQ obviously has been a, a tough technical challenge. And a word of caution, don't try this at home. <laughs> we brought together a team of database experts, industry veterans, PhDs, researchers to pull this off. And let me tell you how this works. HyperQ sits between the applications and the database and intercepts the network traffic and reroutes the network traffic into the cloud. Now, obviously, that's not good enough because these different systems speak different languages. So what we do is actually translate on the fly everything that is being said between these two systems. The whole thing comes with remarkably little overhead and is completely seamless to the, to the application. The application will not know at the end of the day that it's actually not talking to the original database anymore. A couple of Fortune 500 companies are already using this system. And a number of technology partners, as you can imagine, are getting very excited about this. This has generated a lot of buzz. Cloud service providers, database vendors, system integrators, all of them are getting excited about this because this fundamentally simplifies how they're going to go to business. And while the whole idea of taking the enterprise and getting them to the cloud conveniently, very, um, with very high confidence and at a low cost, is obviously a very practical and a very timely thing, it gets even better. Because going forward, HyperQ shields your application from any dependency to any database. So think of it as a layer of nonstick coding that keeps your application from baking onto the database going forward. And that gives you a whole new level of mobility. We call this application mobility. This now allows you to move between different databases within a cloud, no problem. Or hey, move even between clouds if you want. All of this becomes possible now. Think this is too good to be true? Let me invite you to kind of test drive the system. We're on Azure today on Azure Marketplace, and out of the box, we support uh, Azure SQL Data Warehouse. And it's really just a couple of clicks, and within less than 30 seconds, you're up and running, and you get to connect your existing application to an Azure Data Warehouse. So please take it out for a spin, and experience the future of data management. Thank you.